In this video, I'll go over how to make small wire armatures for figure sculpting. For this, I'll be using some thin 20 gauge aluminum wire, a ruler, and some pliers with wire cutters. I use the Rubber Beverly Hale cranial unit measuring system for all of my armatures. This system works great because it lines up with bony landmarks. For more information on this system, check out the Proco video titled Human Figure Proportions Cranial Units Rubber Beverly Hale. This will be a small armature, so one unit will equal one centimeter. I start by measuring two units from the top of the head to the pit of the neck. Then I pinch the wire with my thumbnail to make a sharp 90 degree bend out towards the shoulder. Then one more unit from the pit of the neck to the shoulder, and then two units from the top of the shoulder to the elbow. Two more units gets us from the elbow to the end of the knuckles where the fingers start. I make a loop that represents the palm of the hand that ends at the two unit mark. Then I pinch the loop with the thumb and forefinger of my left hand and feed wire with the thumb and forefinger of my right hand and I twist my left hand so that the wire wraps around the wire that I've already measured back up to the pit of the neck. This takes a little practice but after a while you'll get it down. When wrapping close to the joints I try to wrap the wire as tight as possible. Next I will move down the spine four units. It's technically three and a half units, but I like to add the curve of the spine so I lengthen it slightly to four units. For the hips, we will move over one unit to the greater trochanter of the left leg. For the leg, we will move down from the greater trochanter three units, then make a small bend for the knee, then three more units down to the bottom of the foot. For the foot, I like to bend a small loop of wire back behind the foot, which represents the calcaneus, and then create the loop of the front of the foot, which should be one unit from the ankle joint. Once we've created the foot, we can wrap the wire around the ankle back up to the bottom of the spine. We will then continue the wire over to create the other leg, one unit to the greater trochanter, three units down to the knee, three units down to the foot, creating the foot, and then back up to the bottom of the spine. We can then continue wrapping it up the spine to the pit of the neck and then tightly around the pit of the neck and over to the final right arm. We then follow the steps for the first arm, one unit over to the shoulder, two units down to the elbow, two more units to the end of the knuckles and back up to the pit of the neck. You can then wrap the wire the rest of the way up and cut it at the top of the head or what I like to do is create a small loop which represents the cradial mass of the head. We can then use the wire cutters to cut the wire and there you have a finished armature. If you did it right, the armature should be 11 and a half units tall. These smaller armatures work great for gesture studies, and you can use this same method to create larger armatures with thicker wire. I'm working on a figure sculpting fundamentals course in collaboration with Proco that will be awesome. It'll go way more into detail. It'll have a lot of free videos like this and tons of premium stuff. It'll be done way better. Uh, with uh, an awesome team. Everything will be super high quality, so I'm very excited for that. So look out for that, and hopefully this helps you get started in the meantime. Thank you.